Hey, it's Lockie here from I-98, and today we're in the kitchen with an absolute legend of the Wollongong food scene, Mr. Lorenzo. Good to have you in the studio. Nice to see you. And you've brought along a special guest. This yes. is Elise from Lorenzo's. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited today because what you're gonna cook for us is possibly your most requested recipe in the 17 years you've been in Wollongong. Is that true? It's uh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a dessert, so I cannot wait to try this. Now what we're cooking today is a torte, which is Italian for cake. Yeah. Yours is the torte Verona. Di Verona, Di yeah. Verona. It was discovered on one of my trips with my ex-partners um, in this restaurant in Verona. And we then came back to Australia and we duplicated it. And this is the version we're now doing. Well, I can't wait. Look, Lisa, I'm going to ask you to get going. What's the first thing we're going to be doing okay. today? We're going to start with toasting some almonds. Why are you... I mean, while you're getting that ready, I just want to ask you, Lorenzo, 17 years you've been in Wollongong and you've been known as one of the best, if not the best restaurant in Wollongong. Do you feel any pressure? Do you feel this pressure as the legendary culinary master of the town? It's quite nice to see that I've got chefs that have worked with me that have since opened their own restaurants and have moved around and worked in different areas. But basically, I still cook the things that I like to cook and eat myself. So now you're just putting on some simple yep. sugar syrup. What's, so, the, what's the mixture between sugar and water for that? So for that? that's equal parts, water and sugar. Okay. And we just put a light covering on the top of the almonds. The secret to this one, Lachlan, is to make sure that your temperature on your oven is no more than about 140. Okay, and so it's a slow cook, low heat. Yeah. That's it and Low otherwise they will burn cool. quite simply. We'll get you to put that in. So Elise, what's the next step? Anything I can help you out with? Yep, so we're just going to crack these eggs into the bowl. Okay, sure, I'll give that a go. <laughs> now, do good chefs, you can just do it on a flat surface with one hand. Go do ahead. you reckon you oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's, how's, there we go. Ooh. We did it. Now what are we, where can we put these under here somewhere? We've got a bin. Okay, so how many eggs are we putting in? So we're putting all of these eggs in. Okay, all of them in. Give us a hand here. We'll, <laughs> yep. we'll get these going, otherwise it might take too long. So now, whisk. Yeah. Whisk. Sweet. Okay, so we've got how many eggs are in there? There's eight. Eight eggs, and we're adding in how much sugar? A cup of sugar. Okay, and that's just normal, that's not caster sugar? Caster yep. sugar. Caster that is caster sugar. fine sugar? Yep. So if you just want to whip that. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> and this is, what do we call this, a bay marie Basically, yeah, so what we're trying to do is uh, increase the temperature of the eggs yep. and amalgamate them with the sugar, so that way you get a better inflation, so to speak. And what we're trying to do is get the egg mixture up to what we call blood temperature. Which is 37, obviously. Around about 37. The best way to gauge it is you stick your finger in it when it's about right. So you this just is hard keep... work here. Yeah, yeah, keep going. <laughs> All right. All right, well, what's the next step after this? So we've mixed the eggs and the sugar. Well, we've got uh, the ovens and uh, the almonds in the oven. That's right, yep. slowly toasting away. And now Elise is going to take the mascarpone out of the two containers and Break it down a bit because mascarpone is quite solid, so we need to make it sort of more like cream like. So it okay. has to sort of break the bonds in it, so to speak. Now, this recipe, where did it come from? Did you, you said it's a, it's a variation on a tradition? It's a variation on a, on a cake we actually ran into or came across in Verona. So once my partners and I came back to Australia, we actually, Ian, hmm. duplicated the recipe after many trials and this is the resultant recipe. Now I heard that you've been sick of making this. You had to take it <laughs> off the menu because too many people were going in the restaurant and asking, Lorenzo, cook me the thought there. Takeaways, <laughs> we get all sorts of demands for it, but yeah. Do you do takeaways? Just for this one, yeah. Right, so. I'll have to come by. You do have a beautiful Italian restaurant, but I mean, what happens if people can't just come in and order a bacon and egg pizza, can they? You no. do proper <laughs> Italian food. We do what's known as modern Italian food. So the Italian cuisine, like the French cuisine, when they went through Nouvelle, Nouvelle Cuisine back in the 80s, Italy went through a similar okay. transformation. So they adopted the old techniques with uh, new ideas. So in essence, you've got the same ingredients, you still have veal, chicken, whatever, yeah. but you're also incorporating new techniques, new ideas into it and, and modifying. So instead of a lot of the Italian food from the 50s was very sort of lumped onto a plate, whereas now it's a lot prettier as the French do it. It wasn't sort of stodgy home-cooked meal. That's, that's right. So stick your little finger in there just to see if okay. there's any temperature. Does it feel warmer? It feels warmer. All right, we yep. don't want to overdo it. Okay, so we'll take now that off. We put it into we put it into here. So 
That's it. That's lovely. Now what we're going to do at high speed, we're going to double the the volume of the egg. Now that's sure. going to expand. Oh yeah, that should come almost up to the top of the bowl now. Look at that. And this will take 10 minutes. <laughs> Well, our egg and sugar mixture, that's coming along pretty well. Been about 10 minutes now. And Elise, the patatone, you're going to be looking at cutting this up. Now, how yep. do we look? Do we slice it or do yep. it lengthways? Yeah, so we do it lengthways, about uh, finger thick. And, and what are the little white bits that are at the top? That's little sugar. Oh, they're sugar? Yeah. Well, no wonder it tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we right. cut that up. And Lorenzo, you make this in your restaurant. How many would you roughly have to serve a night? This uh, panettone with egg mixture will make 15 serves. Okay. Yep. And this one is nice and ready now. And you can see how much it's expanded. It's, it's sort of doubled in size. It looks great, doesn't it? That's it. Beautiful. This is probably the most difficult part of the actual recipe. Yeah. You've got two liquids here, or partial liquids, solid liquids. Yep. This one's much thicker than that one. So okay. what you have to try and do is make both of them the same thickness. Consistency. That's yep. right. So to do that... We add a little bit of this. That, so it's, you're folding it, it in at a little bit yeah. of time. And you don't have to, you see, she's doing the figure eight sort of folding, as we call it in cooking. Yeah. And that's all you have to do. And it doesn't have to be 100% incorporated. You can see the still there. I've learned something today. I used to just go around the outside, no, but no, no you've got, got to come go back to... in for the figure eight. That's right, the figure eight. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't get the points. Okay, so, so we've done. got those mixed together. That's an even yep. consi consistency. Yep. yep. And we're just, what, dipping the bread in? Yep, so, so we're gonna... Oh, yeah, the good stuff. <laughs> Now we've got, you've got here, this is an Italian nut liqueur. So an almond based liqueur, amaretto. Amaretto. So you have 50-50 of that. More, bit more. <laughs> <laughs> so you have 50-50 of that and masala. I use the masala fine as it's known, not a luogo. It's less sweet and okay. it's got, the, you know, it's, it's more used in cooking. Does that then make it a dessert that is suitable for children? Like, would that cook out or would you...? No, That's okay. It. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till the kids go to bed, then we can enjoy it. So we just put a little layer of oh. this. It's so it's like, like laying glue. lasagna? Yeah. Basically, okay. yeah. But just not too much. Layer. It's just like the glue okay. at the bottom of the cake. Just, you can pour it in, Lachlan. Oh, so. just pour it in. Yeah. Yep, you tell me what's done. Oh, oops. <laughs> okay. God, Thanks, Lorenzo. Great. Come on, mate. <laughs> okay, so we've got this in it. Spread and then we can spread it out even. So that makes a good base, so that way your panettone won't stick at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to start with our little ah, Tetris Ah, so we blocks. actually brush it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, great. So even in the restaurant, you've got to prepare this two, three days in advance. That's right, because as it sits in the fridge, it really develops. A, the flavours permeate the panettone, and the panettone flavour goes into the mascarpone, and it just okay. solidifies. As, as you so can see, it's still mixture. quite liquid. All right, just that'll do. A little bit more. A bit more. Keep going. Okay, keep going. The boss yeah. says keep going. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's making me hungry, all these <laughs> smells. I don't know how you guys put up with this all day. All these all right. flavours. That's good. And then a bit of right in the corner, yeah, that's it. it. Squeeze it those in. right in. Okay, okay, now we'll just, we might just have enough here. Look at this, you guys have worked Perfect. this out perfectly. <laughs> We've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> just a few times, definitely. Look at that, like a perfect game of Tetris. Look how well that's all fitted in there. <laughs> Right, now you get to pour the rest on okay. top. Okay. Don't need to be pretty about it. No, and you can scrape the bowl into it as well. And that. And we're just, uh, we well, put that in the fridge for three days and Well, try. a day and a half is yeah. suffice, but yeah, you can leave it for three days. So <laughs> what? In the house, can you imagine trying to have this in the fridge for a day and a half and the kids not touching it? Well, our torta that we made has been sitting in the fridge. Now, it's meant to sit in the fridge for a day and a half, three days, guys? Yep. Day Somewhere in between there. Somewhere. If now, you can resist. No, I don't think I can. So, Elise, what have we prepared earlier? Have you got something we yep. can show everyone? I'll grab that one we prepared earlier. Now, for a drink with this, I'm guessing an espresso, but maybe an espresso martini. I think an espresso martini would just cut through that mascarpone. With the dessert would be fantastic. Oh, look at that. A bit excessive there. Do all that. That's it. Falling. Plate up. You need to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Doesn't look great. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just not gonna be shy about this, guys. Please dig it. Look, I'm gonna take a piece from the bite. I've been told to take a small piece so our crew here can have some after this. <laughs> Have some this. almonds, that's it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> wow. Come on, Elise, you got to try. <laughs> that is I've fantastic. I've tried it many times. <laughs> and I can't believe you let it, the secret out that you do this takeaway at the restaurant. <laughs> mm. I'll you probably can... 
you're going to regret that, sir. I'm going to regret that oh. real badly. I, I, I could eat that whole thing. That is amazing. Congratulations, okay. guys. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Lorenzo, Elise, Thank this you. is a sensational effort. Something you can try at home, but something if you want the best way to head into Lorenzo's and have it a bene, we say. Is it good? It's good. Is, is it good? Try it at Lorenzo's. Thank you very much for joining us Thank in the you. kitchen here on In The Loop. In The Loop thanks our media partners, Illawarra Mercury and I-98. In The Loop is made possible by Illawarra Credit Union. Experience a new way of banking. Wollongong Central. Discover the city. Advantage Wollongong. A superior business location. University of Wollongong. Destination Wollongong. Visit wollongong.com.au. Internetrix. Explorers of all things web and digital. People Care. Health cover full of mwah.